Hello and thank you so much for clicking onto this video. I have another Christian jewel bag here. Um, I seem to have a thing about Christian jewel bags at the minute and it's only because I picked this up at a real good bargain and I don't like to let bargains slip by because if I'm not going to keep them for myself I like to keep them to pass them on as presents to family and friends and even if I can't do that um, I can always resell them and try and get my money back. This was an absolute bargain there was no question I had to buy it so more about the, the price and where I got it from towards the end of the video. I want to crack on just in case you're thinking of buying this bag or have bought it and um, want to know some of the markings and have a closer look um, just to know that you've bought um, a real genuine bag because this is a genuine bag all the markings are there where it should be thankfully and so I will begin right I've did a little bit of research on this bag and I still haven't managed to pin down a name Lots of people refer to it as a hobo bag or some people refer to it as a bucket bag and it's just because you have this shoulder strap here and because it is a big bag you have all the eyelets and the drawstring here so it could be referred to a bucket bag as well. It was sold to me as vintage but to be honest I think you really definitely need to have something the bag that's produced before the 2000 definitely now to, to be referred to it as vintage this one I think is early 2000 now I could be wrong but I think so um, I don't think Christian Dior are making it anymore um, but I do know it's not rare there are plenty of these on eBay and other um, retail sites and definitely pre-love sites so there's plenty of them about there are plenty of different um, colors of uh, leather and definitely different finishes of leather I have seen it in black um, gray like a taupey color and black patent so this one happens to be um, a tan color and it's distressed leather so it's supposed to be sort of all faded and that includes the hardware as well so the leather itself um, is a very soft and squishy leather don't know too much about um, leather and the different types but I do know that the soft leather tends to be more calfskin so I'm going to assume that it is calfskin um, it definitely feels like Caskin that I felt before. It has that iconic um, canage print, and that just makes it sort of instantly recognizable that it is a Dior bag. It's my favorite pattern, I should say, pattern instead of print. It's my favorite pattern. If this bag was in black, it would be my favorite bag, hands down. But because I bought it at such a bargain, I might actually consider dyeing it black. Um, because it is such a lovely bag and it's such a lovely sort of everyday bag because it is so big it's very very versatile I think it would be even more versatile if it had a crossbody strap um, but then again I can always pick up another strap not even a Dior one even one that matched in the same colour would be fine I think because it's such a big bag the crossbody strap um, makes it more comfortable because you have a tendency to overfill big bags and a crossbody strap to me makes it more comfortable to wear so the hardware there is no hardware on the bottom so the hardware comes in form of the eyelids eyelids so they're all faded as well and you have a hoop on the side that this is sort of like a dog leash clasp and there is Dior on the little clasp here 
and there's no Dior marked on the hoop. So the Dior is just marked on this little release button here. There's another hoop here and that's just attached. The D is just attached there. And the D is also marked with Dior. All the hardware is in really, really good condition. There's no big scratches or anything. Um, the leather itself is in good condition. There is loads of sort of loose threads here and there, but I think that really just adds to the overall look of the stress on this bag. So it sort of um, just adds character to the bag, I think. The wear, there's not too much wear, to be honest. There is some fading around the corners again that I'm not sure if that was manufacturing or just normal wear but it's not uh, cracked or um, worn down too bad and I think that's it's like that on all the corners so I think as long as you keep blasting it with leather conditioner then it's just going to protect and slow down the process of wear on those corners. The other place I always look at is where the hardware is joined and the leather and that is all pretty solid on this bag. So the overall condition of the bag is pretty good. Um, I actually think they either got it repaired or um, dry cleaned. There was a wee dry cleaning sort of ticket in there. I think they possibly got it dry cleaned because the inside of the bag is spotless. There is not a mark and it smells really good as well. So the the lining of the bag inside as I said was pretty clean and it's just that monogram monogram lining. So you just see the Dior logo there. The material, I am hopeless in getting materials as well, but it is thick, substantial, what you expect in a genuine bag, and the material looks as if it's, if you do get a stain on it, it would wipe clean very easily, because there is like a sort of slip to the bag, to the material. Um, there's pockets in the inside of the bag as well, but I am just going to show you how much room there is in this bag. It is massive. If I, this little, sorry, I should have said this little handle here um, just comes over the shoulder, but you can detach it. And if I detach it, I'll just show you. If I stretch this out, look how wide that bag goes. It's absolutely massive. It's huge. You could fit two human heads in here probably. And if you didn't want to fit any human heads in here, you could fit, if you're a busy mom, put all your children's nappies and change of clothes, or you need a change of uniform and clothes for work, put them in here. Or it is a good travel bag as well because it can fit so much stuff and especially if you've got the crossbody strap as well um, but the other way I seen somebody wearing this was by stretching um, the drawstring leather out and pulling it up from the middle on each side creates a little bucket with two little grab handles. So that's what it looks like there. So you have the end of the strap hanging down here and the D hanging there. And then the two little grab handles. And I just spotted somebody um, in one of the cell uh, pages had a photograph of their bag looking like that. And it just gave me an idea and I think that's where the idea of the bucket bag came from as well. So that's pretty good. So the pockets on the inside are the usual pockets that you see in most bags. And that's the open slit 
pockets. And to be honest, they're not very um, deep. They're very narrow. And you wouldn't get sort of like a modern iPhone Plus in those. But the pocket on the other side is quite wide and deep. And that's the zippered pocket. And the zipper doesn't have a metal pull, it has a leather pull. And then the tag is just on the pocket. And I don't know, but I have a funny feeling that the tag, um, the leather tags are usually the same colour as the bag. I could be wrong, but that's something um, I need to look up. And they're all usually rounded corners. So this one says Christian Dior Paris, made in Italy. And if we flip it up, then we have the code. And apparently the code all checks out. So that is pretty much it. That's the tour of my bag. Absolutely love it. It was a great bargain. I got it for £55, which is incredible. Um, I think it's incredible because I do feel like keeping it and uh, making it another, an everyday bag. So it is worth it for me. But if you were to buy this, buy this bag new at the time, it would cost around thousand pounds, slightly over it I think. So that is oh, that is so expensive. And even now, these are available to buy on eBay. 200 between 250 and 300 pound which is still expensive and on dedicated pre-loved um handbag websites i've seen it for 600 plus so that is i feel like i did really get a good bargain and i think why i got a, a good bargain was because the time the listing ended it was pretty um it was a weird time i think it was in the early afternoon when lots of people are still at work and you can also get bargains lots of listen ends at the in the middle of the night when most people are sleeping so that's a good um time to look out for bargains um and also the photographs the photographs did not do this bag justice at all um the photographs to me i thought i was actually buying a diy project which why i had in the back of my mind that i was going to dye this bag um black the seller didn't mention anything about the leather being manufactured as this dress so i definitely did get a a, a surprise when i received the bag it definitely was in better condition than the seller sort of described in fact, he didn't really describe too much about the bag. I definitely think eBay, I'm not going to harp on about it, but I mentioned in other videos, eBay is still a good source to look out for bargains. I know it's flooded with fakes, but if you definitely do your research on the seller and what to look out for um, in determining um, an authentic bag, then you definitely could get a good bargain and PayPal is always there as a safety net and it is just a safety net because um, I heard recently that in order to prove um, a bag is fake the responsibility is on the buyer you think it would be on the seller to prove that it's genuine but no it's on the buyer to prove that it's a fake and in order to do that then you're going to have to send it away to an authentication service and that can be um, a hassle but um, the safety net is there if necessary um, so that is pretty much it um, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. Um, yeah, I'm just fingers crossed that it's been helpful for somebody. Um, if I've forgotten to say anything, I'll put it in the description bar down below. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the description bar down below. Uh, if you know the name of this bag, definitely put it in the description. Uh, in the comment section below 
sorry it's a sad description, the comment section. Um, because not only will you be helping me by telling me the name of this bag, you'll be also helping any other viewers that click on this bag for any information. So that would be pretty awesome. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening wherever you are. Thank you, bye bye.